Collaboration in Diverse Groups by Harrison Yen. The Stimulus Connection. According to the Ritualistic Synchrony Stimulus Packet, groups that had marched synchronously around campus wrote less creative stories than groups that marched at their own pace. And also, in the stimulus picture called The Holdout, a woman is brought into, into a jury room and shares her opinion with the rest of the group. The rest of the group is mainly of the male gender. This shows how diversity brought into a group can make and form new ideas. Because, as you can tell in the picture, the woman is sharing her ideas and the men, some men in the group are listening intentively about what she has to say. Background. When, according to Tracy Middleton, who is an award-winning health writer and who went to Midwestern University, claims that when respect and other virtues are shown across the board, higher emotional well-being was displayed in the workplace. She also states that whether performing an activity at work with, a ritual, with ritualistic physical, psychological, and communal features are associated with more meaningful work experiences. My thesis statement was that group collaboration enhances the work environment when developing a product in a business. Working in groups is more beneficial to company production. According to a Stanford University study, the, me the mere perception of working on a task collectively can supercharge our performance. Additionally, when working as a group in different businesses, when trying to develop something, fewer mistakes are made because people feel less stressed about the work that is assigned to them. And this is according to also Tracy Middleton from Midwestern University. Not only do work group groups themselves in workplaces benefit the, the the work that they're trying to get done, but specifically diverse groups help the most. In a study by Catherine Phillips of Northwestern University, she showed that when newcomers or diversity is placed into a solution or into a situation of a group that needs to solve a problem, the organized group is more likely to collaborate more effectively. Also, according to David Rock of Harvard Business Review, in a global analysis of 2,400 um, 2, companions conducted by credit supervised with at one female board member yielded higher return on equity and higher net income growth that, that compared to those that did not have any women on the board. This chart right here shows that companies without a below average diversity score and companies with above average diversity scores. As you can see, the companies with a below average diversity score had significantly less income than the, than the companies with above average compared. So below average had 26% and above average with diversity had 45%. Counter argument. Although working in groups has many benefits, working alone can also be beneficial to a company. According to Stacy Brower, who has a PhD and is a sociologist, states that embracing alone time can be very good for mental well-being and performance. She states that working alone, she states that working alone is and can be even more beneficial than working in a group. Also, researchers at the University of Calgary showed that working in groups could possibly reduce productivity because if, group, if the group is working slowly and not productively, then the individual will do so as well. Also, the fact is that working in groups will take longer because there are more people working on an issue. As you can see, working in a group will help promote more creativity as well as maintain a good well-being in the workplace. More risks will be taken in groups compared to working as an individual, and, and overall, groups will have many benefits that, that can be brought into the workplace.
Diverse groups are a specific type of group that can be even more beneficial to a company's productivity or business. It has been shown that working in groups has its many benefits, but the fact is that working in groups can get the job done in a slower pace or time. Harrison, so how did you approach and synthesize the different perspectives that you had in your paper in order in your presentation in order to reach your conclusion? Um, I, I kind of focused on a, like a economic and like social type of like perspective, and it, and I was like when I was doing my research, I focused on how the businesses came together and how like groups were assigned to get a product done, and then socially I I talked about how the well-being of a how the well-being of a group or a workplace uh, affected like how long it took to get something done and I showed how um, the benefits of that. Okay. So what additional questions emerged from your research and why are those questions important? Um, I had some questions about like specific companies that that used groups to get products done and I, this kind of like furthered like how I view group work because it also like made me kind of think like why don't why don't schools around like the country use more group work than working by themselves because when I was, I was doing my research like there was clear research that working in groups can help like skyrocket creativity and like help someone like go through the assignment that they're trying to get assigned so I kind of just like question like why why don't schools and like more businesses work in groups okay thank you